Hello and welcome back to our Eagle Rising playthrough. And this time around, we're going to be striking relatively deep into Northern Imperium territory. And we have a castle right here. And hopefully we're going to be able to take that as well as another one along the way. I actually don't know where the enemy armies are, but all I do know was that Melion Castle was just under siege. So we can very much hope that an army is over there and is a little bit busy with the likes of Sakanus and Zakanus as they attempt to fight them off. Anyway, we're going to be attempting to take Thorius Castle here and hopefully we're going to be able to do a reasonably good job at it. And uh, we're going to do the same strategy that we've done most of the time, which is basically just heading straight in, because in my opinion, I think that's probably going to be yielding the most success, at least for the moment. I'm going to just wait until daytime to go in there, because here's the thing, whenever I build these siege engines and things, they always just get murdered by the enemy's siege engines. And yes, okay, I, I understand. I could use my own ranged weaponry to destroy the enemy's ranged w ranged weaponry but i i just feel like well what why should i you know it it just takes way too long and it gives the op opponent an actual chance to react to my actions and so i'm very much hoping that i will be not taking too much damage here i have rode up pretty fast here on my mount because i had actually hoped to get a head start on getting the ladder up here this m wow this is actually working what okay <laughs> i was actually kind of surprised about that i thought to myself i'm gonna get shot in the face immediately but no apparently i can go up here what oh there they come hello there sirs uh would you like to fight anyone wants to fight this guy wants to fight. Okay, shot him. Okay, not too bad. <laughs> uh, a, lot, a lot easier than I anticipated. I thought to myself, oh yes, they're going to absolutely clobber us as soon as we get up the ladders. But no. No, that's, the, that's, that's also one of the reasons why I absolutely love this strategy, because it very much catches the opponent off guard. You think, you know, the enemy's going to think, oh yes, they're going to build some siege engines, they're going to take a long time to get to where they need to be, but no, actually, with this strategy, you really don't have to wait around. And the enemy is taken completely unawares, and they have no idea what's going on. And as a result, we are now basically inside the walls across the board pretty much and there's not really anything that they can do uh, apart from apparently become neo from the matrix and dodge that bolt mm, that was actually quite impressive anyway there we go shot that guy in the neck <laughs> shot that guy in the neck and then he went sliding down the stairs oh yes oh how stylish of him indeed indeed okay let's just speed things up a little bit here just want to see where the enemies are. Mm, ah, here we go, here we go. There's someone over here. Generally, this is their main escape path. I'm going to try and avoid getting shot. Okay, apparently I failed at that. So I will make him pay with some very low damage. There we go. So that was that. Well, 143 was pretty decent damage, but before that I was doing very low damage. And uh, otherwise, maybe... Yes, I did actually just get to 275 in athletics, which is really, really cool. And... I hit him in the head, but he survived. He actually survived. Can you believe it? I can't. Okay, that's actually crazy. Anyway, there we go. Can we... Yes, there we go. We actually killed someone before they got out. Very nice to see that. And there we are. I believe we are indeed done. Yes, indeed. Okay, there we go. Fantastic. So, 75 renown, 100 influence, all that wonderful stuff. And we can also take... Actually, um... Uh, this is not what I wanted. I did not want to be able to take this many prisoners uh, and rescue them. Generally, I would say yes to this, and I would be very, very pleased with this, but I've literally just gone on a relatively large recruiting spree, and as a result, I don't have that much space left over, which is somewhat disappointing now, but oh uh, well, never mind, never mind. It seems like most of the enemies... Or should we say most most of the rescue troops remaining are just the auxilia, so that's not too bad. And I have actually started 
um, recruiting auxiliar as well, because generally I think that it's probably a good idea to just have a couple of units that are not necessarily the most expensive thing ever so that they can kind of buffer your army in a somewhat smarter way so that you don't necessarily lose units that are super, super useful every single time you sustain some kind of death. And that's the reason why I've gotten some auxilia and um, it, it's kind of improved the unit variety as well in my army, which is actually quite nice. All right, here we go. I can finally get this, which has now given me a massive amounts of HP increases, which is always great. And I actually have no idea what to do now. What do I want to spec into? I really have no idea. What do we have? Well, I mean, I could do leadership. Leadership might actually be okay, because you can get this, which increases the renown gain from battles by 50%, which, in my opinion, is a wonderful, wonderful increase. I don't really think there's, well, there's many perks that give you such a, a massive percentage, but there are a couple of others that I, I do think stack with the 50%. So imagine you have this and then you have another one I, I know of that gives you 30%. And then there's a number of others that also give you a certain percentage as well. I actually have no idea how many renown increasing perks there are. I think there's four, maybe five, but don't quote me on that. But yeah, I think maybe going for some additional leadership might make sense. And then we can call for an army and then maybe level it up a little bit and uh, go on from there. So most of my things are now maxed out in, well, many ways. But I do have one attribute point to spend. So what do I want to go for? Hmm. This is a little bit problematic, isn't it? I think I'm probably going to go for social because I am going to be gaining... Uh, if I level up smithing at some point, I will gain... Let me see, Endurance, and I think I will also gain Vigor or Control. I can decide which one. So, you know, eventually I will be doing some smithing off screen probably because it's just going to be me leveling it up and just smelting a bunch of stuff. And that's pretty much it. It's going to be super, super fast. I do need to put some focus points in that as well, though, just to make it a little bit more painless. But um, yeah, we'll, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Anyway, I'm just going to basically leave Thorius Castle the way it is because I'm obviously not going to be the owner of it. Regea apparently wants to take over control. So I'm actually going to just abstain from any voting here. I don't want to sway the vote at this point. She currently has 95 relation with us anyway. So it basically makes no sense for me to interfere in that because even if I were to support her gaining five relation is just not worth it in my opinion it doesn't make any real difference so otherwise we can now move on and hopefully be able to take Saniopa mmm seems like there's a couple of people in there still which is not bad I think I might be able to deal with them hmm I mean, this, I mean, let, let, let me actually just take a quick look. Um, I mean, obviously, the composition is the main thing here. We've got to be very, very careful about composition. We have to make sure that there aren't too many Legionarius, uh, not, too, not too many Praetorius either, because the Praetorius are very good units. And it doesn't seem like there are that many. So I think we might be able to do something here. And they are 125 extra just from the Beni Zilal mercenary company having two members in the garrison there. So that's obviously a little bit of a thorn in my side, but I think I should still be able to achieve victory here as long as no enemy army appears and attempts to attack us and interfere in uh, what's going on here. It seems like everything's going swimmingly so far, and indeed, yes. Wow. Kind of surprised that they have not yet reacted to my invasion of this particular portion of their territory because I would have thought that, well, even though Thorius Castle is probably not the most desirable fief by anyone, it's still a little bit of a cause for concern, if you know what I mean. So maybe it would make sense for them to actually do something about that. Okay, so Ilgai is going to be our archer person just because, just, just you know, he seems to, well, he seems to have the most infantry related perks, archer related perks, whatever, that, um, well, the, the remaining companions have, because uh, obviously me and Ira are the only ones that um, actually have a significant amount, so maybe it would make sense to actually make our wife be the commander of the archers. That might be slightly more useful 
than ill guy because he is generally a trader by nature and I generally should be making him one once again when I have the opportunity. That guy is using a sling. Very pleased to see that the, 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 the AI is also kind of bad at using it because, uh, well, I'm bad at it as well. Yeah, it's very good. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. Can I? Yes, nice headshot. Nice headshot, yes. Okay, another one. Nope, complete miss right there. Nice. Ah, we've got a couple of people with shields now. See, now, that's that's also something that you've got to bear in mind. If I don't go straight up the ladder when I've just placed them up, then the enemy is probably going to have a pretty significant defense already in place by the time I get up here. But, well, as you can quite clearly tell, it's not that difficult to even get inside these Imperium towns. I personally like the way that the Imperium towns are designed, especially in, uh, in Siege Warfare, because I personally feel like they provide a sort of equal, uh, an equal chance for the offense and the defense. Obviously, that's not how it's supposed to be. Obviously, the defense is supposed to have an overwhelming advantage, but, you know... It's still, in my opinion, relatively balanced in the way that they handle the uh, the infrastructure, basically. So, you know, it's not going to be completely one-sided. For example, in Batanian towns, don't get me started on Batanian towns, some of those are absolutely nightmarishly difficult. Very, very tricky indeed. So, those are the kinds of places you want to be very wary of, and maybe even want to participate in Siege Bombardment at that point. Because if you do participate in Siege Bombardment, you're going to be able to at least weaken the garrison a little bit by the time you head in. And that's pretty much, well, required in those cases. You really do need to try and reduce the amount of people in the garrison there, otherwise you're just going to, well, you're going to have some pretty big pretty big issues, as we've no doubt seen in previous series when I have actually besieged Batanian towns. They are super, super good. I might die here. Might die here. Do you want to follow me out? If you want to follow me out, you're going to die. There we go. Yep, that's exactly what I thought. Okay, I'm going to have to run. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. You want to fight me? You want to fight? Oh, <laughs> I was like, oh, you want to fight me? You want to fight? Uh, no, never mind. I just got hit by a sling by the looks of things. Okay, that's kind of interesting. All right, so we are now here. Where is where is here, though? Where is here? Is this is this a staircase or something? Yes, yes, indeed. This is it. This is a staircase. Okay, so let me see. Can I, um, hmm. Can I jump out here? It's very dark. Yeah, I can't see anything either, by the way, so don't worry about that. Hello there, sirs. I will be doing no damage, apparently, to you because I have very low HP. I just noticed that. I'm actually controlling our wife at the moment. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, well, um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> there are no other enemies around here. Uh, this is kind of surprising. Okay, that must mean that they are all within the tower there, and they're probably going to respawn in this courtyard any moment now. What do you bet they're going to spawn and then immediately murder me? That might happen. Let me just speed things up a little bit. Okay, we do have some, a couple of people. Oh, never, oh, he got murdered. He got murdered very viciously indeed. Well, it's nice to see that for once. Yeah, it seems like most of my forces, ah, there, there, there we go. There's the remaining forces over there. That's not too bad. I think we should be absolutely fine now. Uh, a couple of stragglers walking by here, and I believe that is indeed a victory for us. Okay, so not too bad. Let's take a look at the amount of casualties. Only 21. I'm not sure how that's happening, to be honest. Because as I said before, I don't change the difficulty settings unless I tell you that I have. I still have my own damage on maximum. I still have my my army and friendly units and all that stuff on maximum as well. Anyway, I'm going to be taking these guys prisoner because that's what we do. And I'm going to be taking every single one of these prisoners as well. And hopefully being able to sell them for a very tidy profit. I'm actually wondering whether I should capture this 
or uh, should we say claim it, but I don't think I'm going to do that because it's very far. Mm, you know, it is an Imperium town. Hmm. It is an Imperium town, so, I mean, in terms of its culture, so it would actually be a lot more beneficial to us, you know, as a whole, to actually claim this, because the loyalty here is going to be so much easier to maintain than that of the other ones down in Azurai territory. So I'm now in a bit of a quandary, because do we focus our efforts on defending Seniopa, or do we just kind of... Mm, not so much cut our losses, but make it so that we reduce the potential for any complication. I think it might be kind of fun to have some drama, so maybe it would be cool to claim this and then see if we can defend it against any particular army, and I'm talking about any army. I'm talking about if there's a 1200 strong army, I'm going to stay in there and we're going to see how we do. So I'm thinking we're going to claim it and then we'll uh, we'll try it out. Okay, so this obviously requires a little bit more. I actually have Amprila as well. I claimed Amprila, uh, Amprila too, and I think that is also an Imperium town. So uh, me saying that this is the first Imperium town was actually incorrect. Okay, very good. I had no idea that that was actually the case. I forgot about that. Oh, well, never mind. Okay, so we've done it now, so we might as well um, <laughs> see what we can do. Okay, so I'm going to basically put all the prisoners in there. I'm, I'm going to take all these prisoners out, and I'm just going to put all the prisoners back in like so, and then we'll just take all of these and we will sell them all to the Ransom Broker, as you do. And my Improved Garrison will be recruiting prisoners, as you can see right there. I think I might want to increase this to 300. There we have it. Okay, not too bad. Let's go and sell some stuff. Uh, anything going to be an upgrade? Yeah, Ill Guy could use a better helmet. Dranga can use better, well, everything. Ira is perfectly fine the way she is. All right, so we're just going to be selling all of that. 32,000, very nice indeed. And sell that, 50,000 total. And then we can also sell all of our prisoners, which is going to be 32,000. Pretty amazing. All right, so now let's wait here for some time and see what happens. I'm going to assume that a very large army is going to appear um, within the next... Well, there you go. Yeah. Within the next two minutes, I was going to say. But yeah, there we go. I mean, it is within the next two minutes, I guess. But there you are. Okay, so now they are definitely going to attempt to do this. I am kind of surprised that they decided to take this, or shall we say, decided to retaliate against us so fast in comparison to going to, you know, take Gauss Castle, for example, or Melion Castle, but obviously it is a town, so of course they are going to put much more emphasis on attempting to take back a town rather than a castle, because castles generally don't really do that much. I actually wonder, did they take Thorius Castle back? I can't see it from... No, no, it is still absolutely ours. So this is going to be interesting, isn't it? Okay, so uh, they have 600. And we have, well, 200, basically. So this is going to be very, very interesting. Okay, um, let me see here. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, hmm. I actually don't know. I'm going to go for military planner, I suppose, because ranged troops have 50% more ammunition when besieging. Does that also uh, apply to the defense? I'm actually not entirely sure, but I'm going to take it nevertheless because it's going to be kind of useful in general, or at least I hope so. Anyway, here we go. Let's do this. Now, as I said before, you remember empire towns are pretty easy to penetrate, and I feel like they are quite balanced. I mean, I said that they were quite balanced, but obviously, in this case, maybe being balanced is not exactly what you want, is it? It's really not what you want to have um, in this case. So you would very much prefer to have the defense be, you know, uh, <laughs> widely favored, shall we say. Anyway, do we have any ballistas? Oh, we don't have any ballistas. That's actually really, really sad. Okay, we have no ballistas. So this is going to be basically me 
using my crossbow a huge amount, my absolutely awful um, starter crossbow. I, I mean, it's not that bad, you know, it's not that bad, but it is definitely something that could use a, uh, definitely could use an upgrade. All right, let's go down here and see what we can do. Um, I'm actually going to let them do the um, do the catapult stuff because they're actually really good at that. As you can as you can tell, I mean, yeah, you see that they literally just hit a whole bunch of units, including a uh, including a vassal. So I'm pretty happy with that. And I'm actually going to just try and do some damage with my crossbow here. Oh, I can't believe I missed. Really? There we go. Take that guy down. Thank you. Okay, uh, what happened to my people on the catapult? I have no idea. <laughs> okay, that's actually really, really bad. I kind of needed them to destroy the siege tower. If they can destroy the siege tower, this is going to be really, really good for us. But if they can't, then we might as well just sign the town over to the enemy already. I can't see the health of the siege tower at the moment, so I'm going to go up there myself and see what's actually happening, because whenever I've done something like this and the enemy has ranged siege, they're usually capable of destroying the siege tower before it reaches the walls, but apparently these guys are literally just ignoring that. Well, it seems like we're going to need to go down there. I was very much hoping that these guys would actually do some damage to the siege engines, but it seems like they have failed me. They have failed me in the most egregious way possible, but it's actually not even their fault, because generally I probably should have taken over on the catapult myself and uh, done some damage. And uh, yeah, look at this. This thing has not even been touched. Which, I gotta say, is a huge, huge error on their part. I have no idea why they decided to just completely ignore... Oh, why am I... That's also really, really frustrating to me. I'm getting shot from some random place. I don't even know where. This guy? Yeah, that guy's shooting me. And now this guy wants to murder me as well. I'll just shoot him in the face and then run away. I can't believe I missed. Really?
Uh, yeah, looks like this is indeed a victory for the opponent. I really don't... Oh, also that. Yes, indeed. Um, yeah, I, I don't think I can really do much from here, unfortunately. Uh, I tried my best, but obviously if the siege towers are not being destroyed initially, I think that's probably the reason why we're having such difficulties, because generally we would have been able to completely cut off the bottlenecks in the primary entry points if we could have just prevented them from doing that. So, you know, prevented them from actually maintaining their siege towers. But it seems like that was not possible this time around. And as a result, we are now being overrun, which is actually really sad because I felt like we, we did a, a relatively good uh, a relatively good job of defending. And um, yeah, uh, obviously that is basically it. Okay, I'm going to retreat. I don't think I'm going to be able to um, do anything here. Yeah, I, I, can't, I can't do anything at all. So I'm going to have to surrender here, which is going to be very, very bad. Let's face it. I mean, I did say that I was going to basically double down on this and very much try to defend it. But I was not intending on the uh, catapults literally just doing no damage, zero damage to the siege towers i am going to pay the ransom for for our wife obviously uh, that would make the most sense ever uh, of course and um yeah we're otherwise just going to be waiting around here for <laughs> for some reason i'm still waiting what's actually going on here why am i waiting for so long i have no idea i guess they really just do not like me that much thankfully i do have a decent amount of money and i will be able to get back on my feet very very easily oh look at this we actually have tristania attempting to take the town this is really very surprising i would not have expected allied forces to come over here and actually decide to do something about helping us and uh, oh never mind i literally just broke free randomly all right well thanks very much I am now, <laughs> I am now a free man, and I will see where Ira is first because we want to get her back as soon as possible. Let's send a messenger to her. There we are, and we're now just going to be recruiting my army once again. You may think, oh yeah, it's going to be really, really difficult to get your army back. No, actually, it's not. It's actually very easy in Eagle Rising. I'm not sure why, but it very much is. Anyway, there we go. Ira is now with us. And are these people literally going to attack us right now? Yeah, they are looking to attack us. So I'm going to have to very quickly uh, just basically run away. Let's try to go to Chinopsis real fast. And then we can just recruit some, some quick units. And then I will go into on because I literally do not have any food. So obviously, yeah, it's all a case of getting back on one's feet and generally as I say it is actually really really simple to do that in Eagle Rising I really like the way that they've done the recruiting and how that works because literally just look at that I already have 25 units I mean yeah they may not be the best units in the world but they are definitely going to protect us from the majority of enemy units that could potentially you know do us harm at the moment which is definitely what you want you know you want just anything that can kind of prevent being beset upon by looter upon looter upon looter, of course. So that's really going to make a very, very big difference. Anyway, um, yeah, there we go. We are basically going to choose the owner. <laughs> uh, it's not me, obviously. Yes, indeed. Okay, it's going to go to this guy, Abelitos. Abelitos is going to get it. I technically already have three towns, so I shouldn't really be taking it anyway but I thought well it's an Imperium town so maybe it's kind of useful for us but it's uh, at the end of the day not that important uh, increase settlement prosperity or get 20% healing bonus in towns I will go for the 20% thank you very much let's go for some more leadership go for some more intelligence and then we will continue to recruit units but yeah this is basically what I'm going to be doing for the next um I don't know, half hour or so, but uh, yeah. Otherwise, I'm going to get prepared for the next episode by doing that. And I will attempt to fight a couple of people off screen as well to try and level up some of my forces to make sure that they are as ready as they possibly can be. Anyway, I thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.